more whatever, when my grandmother is brilliant, I got to study under this brilliant person. My mother is also incredible. And to carry on that legacy in any sort of capacity feels like such a privilege. And I want to elevate it to the level of where it should have been the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was the audio. <laughs> Um, you know, I think growing up in the city, that the every ordinary person has always been fascinating to me. Behavior, human behavior, how people treat each other, and the ways that people move in the world is a huge part of what I think I first noticed and observed and wanted to find language for. Um, there's too many people, but the one person I'm going to acknowledge today is Jane Cortez. I'm wearing her on my shirt. Um, she's an LA native and an incredible poet and revolutionary thinker. And um, I think about the, the ways that poets have always tried to push our, our appreciation for language and deepen um, how we see the world and know that the interior world is so crucial to how we expand and manifest in our exterior, right? So knowing that Nothing, everything starts within. And once you can examine and confront and really delve into those deep feelings and repressed emotions and what, what they mean and why they're there, then you can start to have the kind of um, language and compassion for others who you are experiencing everyday life with and walking by on the street or you know in the grocery store or whatever it may be. But that the poem begins with you, you are the poem, right? It's it's an embodiment, and then it manifests in how you decorate flowers, or how you dance, or how you curate a room, or you know how you make a meal. I mean, you are the the most you know um, exquisite poem, and it's it's really um, how do we democratize art in a way so that people recognize that they are the artists of their own you know design, their own lives. And if we all approach the world as artists, imagine what beauty we could create. Imagine what, what sort of um, things that could, that could be possible. Because all artists do is take crazy, absurd obsessions and you know, weird <laughs> you know, things that we sit and muddle with in our minds all the, all the time. And then somehow they show up in the world. And it's because of really what you said earlier before, you continue to show up. You continue come every day, every day to that crazy radical idea or that weird, strange color you can't get away from or that amazing taste you, you want to find a way to make in your kitchen. I mean, you keep showing up and every day you will learn something new and hopefully you can pour that into the world and make this place a little, a little bit more bearable, a little bit more possible for everybody. When you talk about that example for me, man, it comes straight to representation. I remember it was my rookie year as a player. Jim Caldwell was my head coach. That was the first time in my athletic career with an African American head coach. And so when you talk about wanting to get to the executive level, wanting to work in the front office, now sitting in the agency, like, you know, there's you know, we're 10, 20 years old, first this, first that, first this, first that. So like, those representation of those humans, you talk about Ozzie Newsome, you talk about Troy Vincent, you talk about Art Shell, like, from a football perspective for me and my journey, it's seeing these individuals that blaze the path so I had an opportunity. It's, it's Jackie Robinson crossing the line so I could be a player, you know, years, years, years upon later. And so for me, I feel like, that's when I walk in these rooms, I have that responsibility to be that representation for the next. I have to walk a certain way. I have to do things to a different standard to make sure somebody like me, whether they're female or male, can walk in that room just like I have. So representation is that big example for me what keeps me going. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you so much.
Now we're going to take some, some questions. 